Uh, my name is Colin Kempney. Uh, I'm a biology major at Binghamton University studying pre-optometry. When I need a de-stressor, when I need to relax, um, it's nice to come here and just kind of, again, be in the moment. Yeah, so on July 4th, over the summer, I was with my family um, enjoying the July 4th uh, festivities on Branningham Lake. I had gotten there pretty early in the morning um, to really take in the whole day. I mean, I had the day off of work. It was the holiday. It was a very sunny day, warm day. I mean, everything you'd want out of a, kind of the July 4th holiday. When I heard yelling coming from a few camps down and um, I had looked over and my uncle started running towards what was happening. Um, I looked over and kind of took in that there was a family in distress um, and there was an unconscious individual being taken out of the water. Um, it took a second and a kind of tap on the shoulder from my mom next to me to kind of remind me that this was my, like this is what I can do, I can help. I took right off, um, went over to the family on the dock. He, the individual is at the dock on this point. Um, I went over, asked the family um, if it was okay for me to perform CPR. I was a trained lifeguard and they right away kind of let me take charge. Um, I got up onto the dock, um, did an assessment like I was taught in my training. I performed uh, compressions on the individual. His son was happy to perform mouth to mouth. Um, I kind of walked him briefly through that. We got some ventilations in and just a few more compressions when we did see him start to spit up water. Um, and we saw him um, kind of regain that color back. Um, it wasn't until after I had gotten myself off the dock and um, my mom had kind of hugged me as I was walking off the dock that I kind of realized, like, took in what actually happened, like, what I had just gone through, what, even more than me, what his family and what he had gone through in that situation and um, kind of how grateful I was, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's kind of one of those feelings that words can't describe. Um, kind of a gratefulness, uh, like an admiration. Um, before this had happened, I think the best way to describe it was I thought of lifeguarding as a task, as a job, not as something I was able to do. Um, and when, after this situation, I think it was a real realization that like, I had those skills and I had learned those skills and I just wasn't able to do them, but able to apply them. I don't think it should be underestimated how much the people around me um, helped with the effort. Um, I ha may have been the one doing compressions, but if not for the help of the community around me, um, I don't know that it would have gone as smoothly as it did, which I'm forever grateful for.